Hey guys, welcome to the channel. So today we'll be playing Have a Nice Death. We're really looking forward to trying this one since I saw the trailer. So really excited to have got a copy of this one to play. So jump straight into the game. Really smooth graphics. Nice solid range of attacks there. Some really smooth controls on this. Nice quick little tutorial and we're straight back into the thick of it. Just as I was about to uh, do the old power attack. Upgrade our transformation. Yeah. Impressive by just how fast and fluid it is, literally every scene's like. 100 miles an hour, it's quite impressive. The graphics are really well done. We've got 
choice of doors. We're going to equip storage. Kill those pesky souls. Speak fans pretty tough. Right, let's try that one instead of fire arrow. See, so we're gonna go for that instead of all. Try that as a behemoth. Seems a little slow. That's pretty weak. is easy, medium, hard. So we'll try bits and ballad at the bottom. What I really like about this, you know, there's minimal load times, if any, the combat's fast and fluid, and it's a really fun good experience, you know, you can, even dying, you know, you're just gonna go back to Doing your paperwork, so. We've had 40 ingots and prism. Whips there. Took me 
utilize our ingots to gain new abilities. So we've got a nice little discount there as we've killed 50 enemies. There's a ton of stuff that we can buy, so. Sells in for another run. Spells or more HP. I think we're gonna do spell damage 10%. go to hazardous floor. We'll see how this one looks. If you use the combat of Guacami, then uh, you're going to be pretty decent at this. If we're not, it might be a little bit more of a challenge. relatively unscathed. I guess the HR office of T.O. Shah we met a minute ago.
the uh, attack that we unlocked with Brood and the Gods when they're against those tougher enemies. See me die at the uh, trial room saving. Move on to the next floor. We're going to go to Fanny's office, stuff you hung next. sometime. So this bonus is associated with a penalty. Too much given the nature of the, of the attacks that we do. Control room or recruitment storage? I think we're going to go control room. I do like the variety of the level designs as well as like the offices look more different to that. And Is the control room that we can upgrade, so so we can send prison to unlock our scythe premiums. the little spooky sound that that had attached to it. I believe he has the same effect, so we can turn our scythe into a twin blade or sickles, so we can be like um, a boss from Diablo. 
This is the boss floor. Right at the security station. Can we take it? 16 health, probably not, but. Got a pretty cool little beastie area as well, and info on our employees and our enemies and places, so. Bad employee. Ah, oh, he made <laughs> short work of me there. And there we are, resting back in paperwork. But as you can see from our second run, did a lot better. Yeah, it's a prison. Killed one of the fanagers. Upgraded scythe. With a pretty little decent run, it's similar to Hades, you know, you're gonna die a lot before you get to where you wanna be at the end. But overall it's a really solid game, you know, the music subtly sort of fits in nicely, the combat is just ever so smooth and there's a ton of different upgrades and colourful characters and this is a game that's coming along really, really nicely and fantastic. I'm probably gonna give this one a Probably a 9 out of 10, you know, the aesthetics are brilliant, the controls are simple, yeah, effective, and it's just a lot of fun to play. So, definitely look forward to seeing this one progress. Pick it up and get a chance. Thank you for watching, guys. Please like and subscribe for future videos.